Hello, I'm Princess Zelda, child of the King of Heaven. And I'd like to share another one of my poems. This is the introduction to Don't Give Up, It's Just a Test. As a Christian, we will be tested by God, not for His benefit, but for ours. Because He knows how we will react in any given situation. The tests are for us, so that we will know in what area we need to be strengthened, and in what area we need to study more. There will be terrible times in these last days, and we have to be prepared for them. Although, although a righteous man may have many troubles, the Lord delivers him from them all. We must walk in obedience and love, because obedience is better than sacrifice, and love never fails. We must embrace the fruits of the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, patience, meekness, and temperance. Let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap if we do not faint. This poem is called Don't Give Up, It's Just a Test, and I wrote it February 10th, 2014. And I prefer to use Jesus' Hebrew name, Yahshua. So when I say Yahshua, I'm talking about Jesus. In this Christian walk, we are going to be tested and tried. But for us to be free from sin and victorious is why Yahshua died. God can't use us if we're not willing to stand for what we believe. And we can't be afraid of the persecution we are going to receive. We have to be ready to go into the fiery furnace or the lion's den. We're in training to reign with Yahshua in a world free from sin. Whatever our purpose is determines the place of our testing ground. We can't have the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a mind that's sound. We have to know no weapon will prosper that is formed against us. This battle is spiritual. We don't have time to deal with people that want to fight and fuss. We have to set the Lord always before us. He's our right hand and not be shaken. When the test comes, if we don't pass it, again it has to be taken. The testing of our faith develops perseverance so we can be complete and mature. Whatever the test is, big or small, we have to learn to endure. We have to decide we're not going to give up, falter, or faint. It's the best thing in the world to be, but it's not easy being a saint. Our love must be sincere. We must hate what's evil and cling to what is good. We have to resist Satan, submit to God, and live the way he says we should. Some tests that we go through will be hard for us to understand. We have to remember that God is in control and hold tight to his unchanging hand. Don't give up. It's just a test. Be blessed, everyone.